Hey guys, my name is Jenny Barrios and I'm gonna go to Spain. Anyways, so I'm here to talk to you about studying abroad. So basically, if you don't know what studying abroad is, studying abroad is when you go and study in a different country. Um, so for me, it's gonna be Sevilla, Spain. Um, so yeah, basically my school offers this thing where you can pay the same price as tuition here. Um, so I attend Ursinus College, um, and I really, really highly recommend if you really do want to go like study somewhere else, like in a different country. Like I would consider you look into like that when you're looking into like colleges. I know for me, I like the idea of being in, in a different country and just like studying there and just like like learning like different cultures and just like you know it's just like a different thing when you go and like visit a place and you living there for like four months, four or five months. I don't know. I'm gonna be there. Um, from January to May, yeah. I know a lot of schools like they charge you more if you want to study abroad, which I feel like that's very unfair for someone that doesn't have the money to do that. Like, <clears throat> if I want to study abroad but I don't have the money, like how are you gonna like stop me? You know. So it's just like not that's not fair. So that's why it's a good thing to look into that. So if you're trying to look into like uh, study abroad programs, I'm doing this one called CIEE, which. Um, and it's like the program in specific, it's um, like a s journalism classes but in Spanish. So I basically why I chose that program is because I'm trying to be better at my Spanish. I mean I'm fluent but like just like how, just like improve in my writing and just like in my reading. So I can have the skills when I, like for my future um, because eventually like I want to become um, either like an activist or like um, a journalist uh, but in Spanish. Just to like be that voice for the, like the Latinx community, so like that's what I'm trying to do. But anyways, in the process of doing that, like I had to do, um, I had to do a lot of stuff, and you have to keep up with deadlines. Um, but um, it was really easy to do that, like do, to like follow the deadlines, um, because I just wanted to procrastinate and from doing my work, so I would just always like be on top of that. And uh, I had to do a visa, um, but. Uh, thankfully f for the CIE program, they um, basically you send them like all your like application and everything and they um, go to the consulate for you. So the co closest consulate for me um, was New York and I'm currently in Pennsylvania. So it wasn't that bad because um, New York is like um, three to four hours depending on like the traffic. So like it wasn't bad per se, like I could have gone by myself but it, it is much easier for um, them to like you know take care of that um, for you so that was nice so right now currently I am trying to pack everything um, because I'm not gonna be here next semester so I have to m completely move out of my room but um, not gonna lie I am nervous I'm gonna stay with the host family um, so I just, I'm just, I, I just have anxiety right now. I'm just like, oh my gosh, are they gonna like me? Am I gonna make friends over there? Like, are they gonna make fun of my Spanish? Or just like, uh, uh, like, I don't know. Like, I'm just like, a lot of things are going through my head right now. Um, but it's like pretty cool because I have those same butterflies that I had before coming to college. So it's just like, I thought like I would never have that feeling again. But like, I'm having that feeling right now where I'm just like, I don't. Like, I just, like, I don't know, just, like, those, like, like, butterflies, just, like, nervous, um, but, um, I'm just gonna, I don't know, I feel like after this trip, like, I'm a, like, I definitely feel like I'm very adaptable to, like, different places, like, so, I'm just worried about what's gonna, I don't know, just what's gonna happen while I'm over there, but anyways, so you guys are right now gonna see me in Spain. Um, yeah, I wish I could, I could do that like so easily. But so you guys are gonna see what's going on, and how I react as I land to Spain. Bye. Hey guys. So right now I'm on the plane to go to Madrid, and then from Madrid I'm gonna Sevilla. Um, so I'm excited. I've been able to sleep at all these past few nights because I just like the 
stressing about different things. But yeah, so um, I guess I that's what I'm wearing because I wanted something like comfortable. Um, and I have these shoes where I could just do this, or, but they're like um, zip-ons because they're like easier to take in. Like they're one, well, they're comfortable, and then they're also easier to. Um, take out when I'm doing like, um, what's it called? Like the security thing, and then I can put them back in like quickly. So, this is what I'm having for breakfast. I need a little coffee, and I got water because I want to stay hydrated. And then this um, orange juice. Um, it's like naturally, like native there. And then I got croissant. Yeah, I don't know how freaking YouTubers can vlog because I'm shy as fuck. So here I am in Madrid. I landed at 8 a.m. and it's now 11 a.m. Um, so I'm just um, waiting for my flight to Sevilla, which is at 4 p.m. And so I'm so tired right now because it is like 4 a.m. in Dallas and I did not get any sleep on the plane. Like I just got like an hour of sleep. That's kind of keeping me awake, but like my sleep is like powered through the caffeine, so it's not a good mix. I have so many stuff. Like I have this luggage, and then I have my backpack, and then I have fanny packs. So like, I'm gonna go places, but this luggage is like not it. Like it's giving me calluses. It's like so hard to. Hold. I can't even finish vlogging yesterday because I was so tired. Um, like I was saying in the video, I was like, there was a de there was a three hour delay, so I was supposed to get here at five, but instead I got here at um. What time did I get here? Oh, I got here like at eight or nine, and so I missed orientation. So um, I'm gonna go to well tomorrow we have more like another orientation. So I'm gonna get all my packets there. But um yeah, so I was like waiting in the airport since like eight AM and I like left at six PM. So it was it was, I was there like I was in Madrid the whole day and so I was exhausted. Um after I left, um well after I came to Sevilla, um I got a taxi and I came here. Um and the my family my host family is so sweet like um they gave me like a mini tour um and yeah they were really excited that I like spoke perfect Spanish because um the husband doesn't really speak English so um they were really excited that um I speak Spanish and that I just like feel like family so I, I kind of like like that like I'm like I'm so excited to get them to know them and they're so excited to get to know me um so um I, I guess i'm gonna give you like a little tour of my room so like this is a door and then as soon as you walk in you turn to your right there's like this big wardrobe i have like my scarf here um i got this at hollister um i like it so much because it's like big and like um so comfortable and then i just have like my jackets some shirts hanging on hanging up sorry and then I have like my shoes here and then I like, have my like I like put my underwear and um, bras in this like basket and then underneath there I like put my shirts you can't really I mean it's not a lot of shirts um I didn't bring too many clothes off I feel like um but I'm gonna be washing them, so like you know, I don't, I didn't need that many clothes. Um, and then I have like my um, like my lo lounge pants, lounge pants here, like sweats and um, all that stuff. And then I have like my shorts here, so like like I think it's like hot, cause it's gonna start getting hot like later on. So like whenever I sleep, I can just sleep with shorts. And then um. 
well, I was like asleep, but here's my bed. And then I have like this desk over here. Um, and she also gave me like a laundry basket. And so I get I have this desk over here, so I have a printer, which is really cool. Um, and then I got some vitamins at the airport. Um, yeah, so I have my computer all set up here, and um, it's nice to have a little study lamp. Um, and then I like put my cameras up here because I don't want to crowd my desk too much. Um, and then um, because she had like this little vanity here, um, I put like my palettes there, like all my brushes and like foundation, um, and, like cream, etc. Um, and then I brought this from home. Like I literally put like I like kept all this in like my um carry-on because I feel like it's like easier like to transport in and also like it looks good. Um and then I bought this planner in um Ross which I thought was really cute. Um I really like the color and it says that all the all who wonder are lost. And it just has like um it's like a weekly planner. So like I mean I could like also like write like about my day and like I can write notes. Um and put, like goals. So I think this is really cute. Um and yeah, then I have some like oh this is where I put like my um my jewelry. Um I have like all my pins here. Like my necklaces. Oh, did it? I don't need to my necklaces, but yeah, that's where my earrings are. And then, um, so she's, well, this is my brush um, that I got at Ross. But she said that like girls before me have like left stuff behind. So I didn't bring a strainer, so this is kind of cool. Yeah, so like, I mean, this is my room. It's like, it's small, but, um, I feel like it's not that small, to be honest. Um, but I like it, it's doable. Um, and then I have my purses up there. But, like, when I go out this door, because it's like 2 a.m. right now, but I don't want to go outside and, like, start making noise. But, like, when I go outside the door, like, in front of me is the kitchen, and then to the side is the living room. So it's going to be easy for me to socialize. Um, but, yeah, so this is my room, guys. Oh, wait, also... Why the why the um airplanes was delayed was because this plane that um had technical um te technical things t technical difficulties I guess um and then so they brought in another plane and it was the same problem and so um miraculously like they found another one and that one um was able to bring us but. Like, the, literally, the board was, like, playing with me because it was, like, oh, um, because it's, like, weird. So, like, it would, like, it would reveal the gate for you to go to, but there's, like, this main waiting area for, like, everybody. And so then it would, it would say, oh, like, we're going to leave at 4. And then it changed to, oh, we're going to leave at 6. Oh, we're going to leave at 5. Oh, we're going to leave at 4. We're going to leave at 6.30. And it just kept playing with me. And then it was going to be, like, and then it was going to reveal the, the the gate in 10 minutes. And then it changed to 50 minutes. And then it changed to 21 minutes. And I was just, like, very, like, um, just, like, so frustrated. Because, like, I wanted to go to sleep so bad. But I feel like if I was to go to sleep, then I would, like, miss, like, when it was going to tell me or just miss the flight. And I did accidentally f fall asleep. But um, thankfully, like, this man it was so rude he was like sleeping next to me and he kept like bumping his like f like he kept touching me with his feet and i have like a video of like like how close he was it was like an an annoying that like you know he was touching my butt but like um if he wasn't then i would have like not like woken up um and had missed the flight and i would have been so frustrated i hope you like this video um sorry i wasn't like too informative hopefully like you guys go along with my journey and just like see how um it's going um and if anyone is interested in doing it like 
you can come along with me and like learn with me. Um, this is why I'm making these videos because I just want to encourage people to study abroad and if they have any questions or if they are going to study abroad and they want to know how it looks like, um, well, I'm going to show you through my videos. Hopefully, like, I achieve that goal of being consistent and just like being able to show you guys um, what study abroad is like. Um, and um, yeah, I mean, this is like, I never thought I would study in Spain. Um, oh, when I came here last was like with my group at, in high school for like spring break. And I definitely am glad that I came back, even though I did come to Spain, because when I came with my group, like we were in a bubble because we had the tour guide tell us like where, where to go, what to do. So like we did interact with like, they like gave us some free time, but like we were still like, protected and just like we had limited time like you know because it's a it's like a school and also because we were with each other we weren't really reacting with the community and so like I was so surprised that like yesterday like I was panicking in the airport because I was so like culture shock like and I was like surprised I was like why am I like feeling like 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 this like why am I feeling this way like I've been here but then like I thought about it I'm just like well, like, when we came, like, we weren't really, like, we weren't really exploring, we weren't interacting, like, we were with, like, within our, like, group, like, because we, like, I've been knowing some of the people that, like, went since, like, sixth grade, so it's just, like, we were all, like, just in a, in a bubble, like, we didn't know what was going on around us, like, our tour guide took care of everything, and there I was, like, taking care of everything by myself and so like no teachers like nothing so it was it was interesting to say the least um and it was just like different how madrid airport works different than like the dfw airport airport that i'm used to or like the philadelphia airport that i'm so used to so um yeah but um I mean, I have some footage of, like, the airport, but, like, I didn't really, I don't feel like I really, um, like, captured the, like, the difference. Um, yeah, I was just, like, I was so focused on, like, getting where I needed to go, um, because I was so lost. I was so lost, but thankfully, like, these two girls helped me. Um, because I did not have my boarding pass, because I did, like, a connection from American to, like, Iberia, so American, um, because I have the American app, and the American didn't have access to my boarding pass for Iberia, so I was, I didn't even know what gate to go to, I didn't even know who to ask, but thankfully, like, these girls, they were going to the same program that I am, but they were, their flight left earlier than mine, but still, like, they were like, oh, like, I mean, um, if you come with us, like, it's the same airline so you just ask them if anything and I was like yeah and so I did and then thankfully everything um went through his course um definitely had a bad day but I'm so glad I'm here and I'm just like now I'm starting and if you guys want to comment something down below um of things that you want to see um things that you w want Things that I didn't do in this first video that you would want to see more of. Um, I know it was like really bad. I just, I was jumping around a lot because I, I was really lost. So I wasn't really focused on, um, what's it called? It's recording. But if you guys want to see like that, like, um, I'll try to like record that like struggle, I guess. Um, but yeah, comment down below what you guys want to see. Um and support with that subscribe button that like button please um and yeah so thank you so much